Oh, I'm sure Belle is feeling guilty, Lydia. Yeah, but she kind of knew what she was getting into. Actually, don't tell her I said that, because I'm not being judgy. Flipping flowers, I've absolutely no idea about social distancing. Right, better go. Paddy's back, gearing up for a rant. Love to right. Sam. what part of two metres do they not understand? The cow needs my hand up its... up its... up its... not farmer flipping Briggs. Did you drop that stuff off to her, Do you know what I'm going to do next time? I'm going to get a cattle prod. Two metres! What? The, uh, um, the, 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 the crisps and the wine and the lettuce, yes. I'm sorry, but how's that essential? Well, Kane's going to do them a proper shop tomorrow. Although I almost offered to do it today, just to get out of the house, cos he's been a total nightmare. I'll go and see you. No, please don't. I've just got off to sleep. OK. How's Sam coping with the lockdown? Is he all right? Have you learnt to crochet yet? I forgot to ask. But um, Lydia said that Belle's stressing about Andrea. There's still no word on where she is. Yeah. Jamie's not said much. Must be going out of his mind. Well, then he should have kept it in his pants. I completely agree. But taking Millie off and then complete silence, I'd go loopy. Taste some gut. Well, you know, just getting in your car and driving away, never looking back, leaving your entire life behind. Hmm. I think I'll leave you to linger with that little... Little fantasy you've got, eh? No, no, I could never do it. Anyway, it'd be impossible right now, wouldn't it? I mean, you step outside and everyone's curtains start twitching. <laughs> yeah. Good to know it's just the neighbours stopping you. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, I'll get a shower and then when Evie's awake, I think we should watch some Pingu reruns. Completely transfixed yesterday. No, no. Amazing. Another day of pretend penguins. It's not going to be fit to read. Well, I'm sorry. I have no idea where that filthy little delivery boy's fingers have been. What is it, anyway? It's the malt shovel. They're doing takeaways. But it'll just be like bone-dry pies and cheesy string sandwiches. How desperate would you have to be? Adapt or die. Isn't that what that Darwin fella said? Yes, he did, but he'd never been to the malt shovel. Nobody will go. Well, they might. Our punters might. And when this is all done, then they might start to drink there, too. Yeah, and you might grow a moustache and call yourself Brian. No, this is serious, Paddy. Every day that we are closed, there's money down the drain. I'm still earning. I can keep us ticking over. No, this is my business and I pay my own way. But we're a team. We're a family. I'd do anything to keep the pub going for you, for Marlon, for charity, for everybody. I know. I'm sorry, Padster. It's just... I hate doing nothing. We well, you know your problem. We don't know how to stop. Yeah, that and all. Look, we can't change what's happening, so we might as well just embrace it. We can relax, we can get even to a better sleeping pattern, we can regroup, and we can... we can rebond. How? There's a cellar full of ale downstairs. We could just get hammered. Discover the lost art of talking absolute nonsense. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Seriously? Yes, get in. You know, that witty chap said, we had to stay at home, I thought, this is going to be a nightmare, this. This is going to be the worst thing ever. It's going to be horrible. And actually, really, all we really need is... is that magnolia emulsion. Sorry, it's not what you expected. No, I was, I was expecting a drink. That's, that's, that's decorating. Yes. All that booze down there is my livelihood, every penny of which we are going to need when this nightmare is over. So, we should get proactive. Plan ahead. Agreed? No. No, why don't we wait till we're really, really bored to do that? No, now! Come on, Paddy. Dust sheets are in the, in the attic and I'll get scrubbing the walls. Chop, chop! <laughs> 